p.m. people, it is I, Professor Moptop. Welcome to our weekly meeting. It's so nice to have you as part of the Patreon experience and as part of what I like to call the Volume 3 experience. This week in audio, we're going right to the beginning, and I'm going to be setting four hunks of audio of some very early songs from the first album. We have a John song, a Paul song, a George song, and a Ringo song. First up is uh, Paul's I Saw Her Standing There. It was written primarily by McCartney with a little bit of help from uh, John after he was very critical of some of the lines in the song. It was called 17 up until the time they recorded it. Sometime after they recorded it and released it, they changed the title to I Saw Her Standing There. Paul wrote it in 1962, and there's luckily quite a few uh, versions of it on record. It was uh, written in 62, and they rehearsed it and played it live. They rehearsed it at the Cavern Club in an early version in uh, mid-62. We hear John playing harmonica on this version. They play it again, and it was recorded again on New Year's Eve 1962 from that famous Star Club recording in Germany. It was a little faster by that point. And then on February 11th of 1962, when they recorded the bulk of the Please Please Me album, it was one of the first songs recorded in the day. Now, technically, take one is the performance, but the count-in, which is the very exciting one, two, three, four, from McCartney is Take 9. They performed it on the Saturday Club in March of 63, and of course they performed it on the Ed Sullivan Show in 1964. If you listen real closely to the official version, you can hear a couple of mistakes in the vocals, where John sings one thing and Paul sings another. The next song you're going to be getting this week is called Chains. It's a uh, song sung by George, not written by him. It was written by... Um, uh, Jerry Goffin and Carol King, who were a husband and wife uh, songwriting team. Um, it was uh, first done by the Cookies. They also wrote the song The Locomotion, which was done by Little Eva. And uh, Little Eva's background group is the Cookies. And Chains is um, the George song that they do. There's another song by Little Eva called Keep Your Hands Off My Baby, also written by Goffin and King, also sung by George Harrison. You get to hear a little bit of audio by that. They never officially recorded that for an album. That is a BBC only track. Each Beatle kind of had their own turf. Uh, John would generally cover the uh, Chuck Berry songs. Paul would kind of cover the Sweet Show type tunes and the Little Richard stuff. George would a lot of times get the country music and the girl group songs. Although I'm going to contradict myself because there's really no hard defining rules of who would sing what type of songs. Um, Chains is on the Please Please Me album in the UK and introducing the Beatles in the United States. Boys is the next song you're going to get. This is the Ringo Sung song. And as I just said that George a lot of times did the female sung songs, Boys was originally done by the Shirelles and Ringo sings lead. The Shirelles also have Baby It's You in which John sings lead. So they didn't necessarily have a uh, turfs of who would sing what types of songs. At one point in time, it was the Pete Best song that he would sing, and uh, the Beatles would perform it. Ringo also did it when he was a member of the Hurricanes, so he knew the song, and as soon as he took over in the band, it just became his song to do. The Shirelles first did it in 1960. It's the B-side to Will You Love Me Tomorrow, again written by Goffin and King. It was recorded in one take on February 11th, of 1963, where they did most of the first album. There's a BBC version you get to hear a little bit about. They did it live in concert, and Ringo Starr still does it to this day. It's very exciting when Ringo sings Boys and everyone in the world sings Bop Shoe Up. And the fourth song that we're going to hear today is a really early uh, composition from Paul and John. It's actually a McCartney Lennon song. The first few songs that they did on the first album were credited to McCartney Lennon. After that, they became Lennon McCartney. Ask Me Why was first uh, recorded on June 6th of 1962 with Pete Best. This was either a, an audition or an early recording for the band's first single. Um, sadly, this tape doesn't exist. It was uh, recorded on November 26th, and ultimately it was the B-side to the second single, which was the Please Please Me song. Um, during this session, they also attempted but never got too far with the song called Tip of My Tongue which was an early Paul McCartney composition. Uh, Tommy McQuickly, excuse me, Tommy Quickly was uh, the guy who eventually did it. He was also uh, represented by Brian Epstein. Um, this is the beginning of John and Paul writing songs, singing to you. They're trying to sing directly to the young girls who might be listening 
to the song. John wrote most of it with a little help from Paul. He uses the word misery, which was a favorite word of his. It's also inspired by a Smokey Robinson song. You get to hear about that. And um, as I said, it's on the Please Please Me album and the B-side to the Please Please Me single. In 1965 news, I'm just about done with Batula Clark. This past week I spent a lot of time going through the stuff I wrote and fixing a lot of mistakes that I've made. Hopefully by the time um, the book is ready to land, there will be zero mistakes. Back into 1965 in music and the British Invasion, thank you all so much for being part of the Patreon family. I am Professor Moptop.